Before welding, fix the welding machine in a stable position. Place welding sockets of the required size to the welding machine. Cut the pipe at the right angle with sharp cutter tool. Make sure there are no cracks or breaks at the ends of the pipes. Make sure the welding sockets are clean and firmly attached for reliable welding. Before welding, check that the joints of pipes and fittings are not oily or dirty. In this way, a strong and homogeneous connection can be achieved. Emir Plus welding machines can heat up to 320 degrees Celsius. Set the welding machine to 260 degrees Celsius. Wait until the thermostat lights turn off. In cases where the ambient temperature is below 5 degrees Celsius, welding can be performed by heating the welding machine up to 320 degrees Celsius. Quality pipes and fittings shouldn't pass on the welding sockets. Use the pipes and fittings of the same brand for a perfect joint. Since pipes and fittings made from the same raw material reach their melting point at the same time, a strong joint is obtained and the diameter of the passage doesn't narrow. Stick to the heating time indicated in the instructions. Pipes and fittings must be connected in the accordance with the required welding depth specified in the instructions. Otherwise, after welding the passage diameter will be narrow and the necessary joint will not be provided. Remove pipe and fitting at the same time. If you join the pipe and fitting by twirling them, then the diameter of the passage will narrow. To keep the temperature of the welding machine stable, turn off one of the resistors when the required temperature is reached. After heating, connect the pipe and fitting exactly along the axis. Fix them in this position and let them cool completely without bending them. Welding performed according to the instructions will give you a homogeneous perfect connection and a full pass.